Welcome to SharePoint Spaces step by step series. Myself Dhruvin Shah and you are watching sixth part of this series. In this session, I am going to discuss about one of the out of the box web part in SharePoint Space, which is file viewer web part. So now let's get started and let me talk about how we can add file viewer web part to SharePoint Space and how we can configure different properties of file viewer web part. Before we get started, let me explain you in which scenario you can use file viewer web part. Sometimes there are some situation where you wish to show some important document or a file to your end users. At that time, you can create this file viewer web part. Now, let me create one SharePoint space page and let me show you how we can add this SharePoint space file viewer web part over there. So let me create a SharePoint space for file viewer. And now let me add file viewer web part. Click on the plus icon and click on file viewer web part. Now place anywhere this web part on your SharePoint space. It will open file picker option. Here you can add the file from anywhere like from your OneDrive or from your SharePoint document library anywhere. I am adding my file from SharePoint document library. At this moment, this file viewer web part will preview Excel, Word, PowerPoint, PDF, Visio, 3D models and some other files. Images are not supported at this moment for this file viewer web part. If you have some images, you need to use image viewer web part over here. Now here, let me add one of the word document over here. So I have added one word document over here and now let me show you its different configuration property. Here the same angle property. You can set the position of your PDF file on your SharePoint space using this option. Second property is distance from the user. You can set the distance of your file uh, using this option. The third property is height property. You can change the height from the space using this option. You can change the X axis, Y axis or Z axis using this property. Using this scale option, you can increase the size of your web part. Same way, you can use the drag and drop option as well. You can change X, Y, Z axis as well as angle and distance as well using drag and drop option. Right. So now let's put our web part over here like this. Now let me share some another options as well. Click on the edit icon over here. Here you can see you can change the, if you want to change the file. You can change the file using this option. Same way if you want to add some alternative text, you can use this option. If you want to show podium for your file, you can choose this option. We can set the height of the podium using this property. On trigger action, we can check like by default, the inspect property would be there. So once user will click on that, uh, it will uh, show the preview of that file. You can add some more actions as well, like save for later option, open in new tab action. In an out of the box manner, few more actions has been added over here like save for later or open in new tab, right? You can add some extra actions as well like link to another space. If you, you when you click on the document, it will open the another SharePoint space page. Play audio if you wish to play some audio on clicking on your document. When you click on document, you can link to a page or item over there. So these are the different action property. You can set the description field optionally over here. So these are the different configuration property. So we have set our file viewer web part over here. Now let's publish this page and check out the properties. So my file viewer web part will look like this. When we click on that, you can see two more actions over here. Uh, save for later or open in new tab. When we open in new tab, it will open this pop up. This file will open in a new tab proceed. Once we click on that, it will open my file in the new document, right? So this is how we can uh, configure the file viewer web part to our SharePoint space.
one more thing to remember let's say for an example if you have configured any pdf property or forms uh, on your sharepoint file viewer web part at that time you need to open that to the new tab and then you can use the print function right so this is how our file viewer web part will look like in sharepoint space isn't that amazing if you have any question related to this topic you can add your question in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay connected with me on facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel just click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your whatsapp number Stay connected with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.